Good morning, Nick. Yes, can you believe it? We are just less than a week away from not just Black Friday, but that will also be the runoff election day, November 25th, the day after Thanksgiving here in the Northern Marianas. And early voting is still ongoing until the 24th, and that's 8.30 to 4 o'clock on Saipan, Tinian, and Rhoda. And as you mentioned, hundreds of people are coming out for round two of early voting. And this last week of CDMI Decision 2022, the Republican team of Governor Ralph Torres and Senator Vinny Sablon voted early yesterday and we got a chance to catch up with them right after they casted their ballots. Well, Governor, can we just get your reflection? Uh, this is uh, going to be the last time around. You said this is your last gubernatorial. So what has it meant uh, to run your uh, campaign all these years? Just again blessed uh, throughout my whole political career. Um, every time I ran I was given the blessing um, and throughout the years the community belief in the leadership and belief in um, on what I've done for the community. So this is my last gubernatorial and I hope that for my last term I'm also given um, the blessing to serve them one more term. Yeah, just spreading the word, um, Thomas, you know, um, really showing what we're capable of, um, showing what we've been doing in the past in our leadership positions and also um, have, making the people look forward to um, what we have in store for them, you know, if they give us a blessing to serve them in this next four years. And so, Nick, the last big question on November uh, 8th, the general election day, was uh, will there be a runoff election? And this time around, the big question on runoff election is what will the voter turnout be? And will the 61% of voters who voted for independents and Democrats show up again and defeat the incumbent Governor Ralph Torres? Or will, uh, report, uh, will supporters of Governor Ralph Torres and those who've switched parties perhaps show up uh, for the Republican ticket? And so we wanted to share some 2022 voters data from the general election. Uh, in the general election, there was a record number of 19,329 registered voters. The actual ballots cast on general election day, though, 14,916. That's about 80% voter turnout. And what some are calling uh, failed to vote, about 4,000 of those people who could still be eligible to vote in the runoff election. And those are some of the votes that the Republicans and independents both say that they're trying to target. Those who didn't vote in the general, they can still vote in the runoff election. And uh, we are also seeing that of that 14,916 who voted in the general, 14,750 voted just in the uh, gubernatorial race alone. And so it is a numbers game as these things go. And we will know uh, hopefully Saturday morning or late Friday who the next governor and lieutenant governor will be here in the NMI. For now, I'm reporting on Saipan for KOM News.